Hey everyone, Tom Trang here, just back again with another video, and today we're talking about the Dart Zone Pro MK3. The blaster has been sent out to a few reviewers, like Luke from Out of Darts, and Lord Drag, and Walcom S7, and a few more people. Which means, you know, it's, it's out, sort of. Which also means we know way more about the blaster. So I'll be running through quite a few features of this blaster, so you know whether or not you want to purchase it for the crazy $130 price tag. It's going to be a lot more in Australia, sadly. Alright, let's get into the main features. First off, it has the removable muzzle at the front. You do have to open it up to take out that muzzle, but you know you don't need it. It has a Picatinny rail underneath there if you do want to put something under there. The magwell is the same almost the same as the Nexus and Aeon Pro, you know, it has the same mag release style and it's both compatible with full and half darts, although it's not compatible with the mainstream worker talon mags, which is a bit strange, it has a feeding issue with those. The blaster is select fire, you get semi and full auto. It doesn't use a strange electronic system like the regulator. Regulator select fire is all electronic no matter which mode you're in. The dart zone mark three has a both mechanical and electronic pusher. In semi, it feels just like a strife, but then in full order, you switch it over and it goes electronic, which is super cool. The sight that is included is not a normal red dot, it's just a, it's just a little, little red dot in the, in, yeah. If I didn't make sense right there, a normal red dot, when you move your head, that will move with your head. But no, um, the, the red dot that is included, it just stays in that one place. Kind of sad. But you can always just get an airsoft optic because it's a Picatinny rail on the top. Speaking of tactics, it brings us to the buttstock. It is the same buffer tube as the Nexus and Aeon Pro and is compatible with quite a lot of sling mounts and aftermarket parts for there, as well as different stocks to go on there. To the grip, and yeah, I know, I will get to the battery tray. The grip, it has a rubberized texture on it, which is super cool. It is just a sleeve, so you can take it off and attach it onto other blasters or put on some custom 3D printed grips if you do want that. Alright, now up to the battery tray because it's very, very cool. Stock battery tray holds eight double-ended style batteries. Yeah, that's a lot. But it kind of needs all those alkaline 1.5 volt batteries to get it up to the 12 volts that it needs to power the motors. And even with those eight double-A's, the rev up time is still pretty good and it is very, very loud. But if you're like, no, I don't want alkalines. You can run IMRs, three IMRs and five dummy batteries. You will get a little bit quicker rev up time, but um, no, just don't use IMR. Why? Because if you lift off the battery tray, the eight holder that holds the eight AA batteries is connected with an XT60 connector. If you don't know what that means, most LiPos are wired up to an XT60 connector, which means you can put your favorite LiPo battery, 2S and 3S, into the Dart Zone Pro MK3. So your amazing 3S Strife has just been dethroned by a stock blaster that you can buy off the shelf. Yep. So with all those different battery options out there, they all give around the same 130 to 150 FPS performance. Alkaline's obviously on the lower end and the LiPo's on the higher end. Alright, that is pretty much all I have to talk about for the MK3. Some other little notes like pricing is going to be available 130 bucks. Yeah, that's quite a bit of money, but it is a Pro Blaster in the Pro line. All the other Pro Blasters were quite expensive too. And hopefully Oz Toy Store, the Legends, will ship this in as soon as possible. I'm expecting $250 that we're going to have to pay for this blaster, but I reckon it's going to be worth it. Availability? We're not too sure yet on how long it is going to take for the blasters to hit store shelves. Remember, only a couple of samples have been sent out to review it. Alright, that is all the info that I do have on the Dart Zone Pro Mark III. If you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like. It really does show your support. And also, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 1,000 before the end of the year, so if we can make that happen, that would be incredible. And if we can make that happen, an awesome Nerf War video, maybe even FFHS versus Hasbro Part 2, will come out next year. Oh, yes. Alright, stay tactical. I'll see you in the next video.